Hi everybody, my fragrance family. And uh, yeah, well, as I promised in my last Zahar of uh, Black Crows video, I am going. I am doing now a, a, a comparison between the original signature rosé and the Black Crows Halfetti. <clears throat> so this is Black uh, the signature rosé. It's a little dusty, by the way. <laughs> I, you know what's interesting? That despite this one being called Black Rose, the the box, the you know, is this uh, signature rose box is actually the design is darker than <laughs> the Black Rose one. So that's a little funny, All right? But the bottles, yeah, they are very complete, uh, completely different in design. So. This is a kind of transparent, rosy, reddish, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, so Signature Rosé came out in 21, so this it, this was the first Zahar of Rose fragrance. But it, it turned out it was quite different from the usual, you know, Rosés. It has a very special kind of smoky gourmandy kind of scent and here are to just to you know compare also for the sake of comparison i'm going to go through the notes so top notes are turkish rose and bulgarian bulgarian rose middle notes again bulgarian rose <laughs> amber chinese peony peony i don't know how to pronounce it peony you know. Jasmine and base notes so Lebanon myrrh, sugar cane, agarwood, bourbon, vanilla, and Australian sandalwood. So that vanilla, I guess, bourbon vanilla is what really gives it a delicious kind of scent. Yeah. So uh, the base, yeah, you got quite a lot of woody notes and uh, yeah, agarwood, sandalwood, myrrh. Yeah. Sugar cane, very interesting note to pick. <laughs> so we, I'm gonna spray it on my left hand. Yes. And uh, like that. Mm. So, as I said in my original review, mm, this is a kind of dark, smoky, but still Oh, quite delicious, you know, delicious smelling fragrance. And then we come to the late, to the new, uh, newbie. <laughs> so this is, of course, Black Rose Halfetti. And you see the design is different and it's got, it's got kind of a, more of a purplish, you know, um, yeah, color. A really beautiful bottle. Uh, it's got a lot more detail in the back, especially than the signature rosé, as you see. But anyway, so uh, this one came out early, early this year, right? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> yeah, so can read a little bit from the Zaharov side the description. Uh, yeah, where it, where was it? Oh, here it is. Three years in the making, the inspiration came when Rosé was launched in 2020, it says here. I don't know why <laughs> the discrepancy, but George was applying Noir on his skin and then shortly thereafter applying Rosé on the top. It was a magical fragrance and he got to work with Claude on a Noir Rosé fragrance. So since Noir means black, of course, in French, it became Black Rose. <coughs> yeah. So anyway, imagine fighting through a thick, torn bush forest to get to the one magical Black Rose. This is the inspiration behind Black Rose. So here it comes, top notes, black pepper, basil, and bergamot. Heart notes, Turkish Rose, Black Rose, cashmere blend, cedarwood, musk, amber, and tonka from Brazil, tonka bean. And at the bottom, Cypriot, Bolivian Tears from Ethiopia, 
would love them in mosque and whatever. So yeah, there is, you know, you see there is, uh, some notes are the same, but there is also some difference, like black pepper and uh, basil, and uh, yeah, you got uh, uh, whatever, and yeah, cashmere blend. So here we spray the, the black rose. What you notice, yeah, this is this peppery, kind of strong opening. While uh, in in comparison, this one has a much milder and smokier and kind of incense kind of opening. This is a lot spicier and stronger, definitely, especially in the opening, yeah. So you know, while they there might be some similarity between them, in when especially when you apply them on your shirt, let's say, not on your skin, it's on the skin that you feel the most, you know, difference, definitely, because the skin brings out all these, uh, you know, details that the clothes can't bring out, you know. <laughs> Because it is a living thing, of course, <laughs> the skin. <sighs> yeah. You know, I... I must admit, I found the uh, signature rosé somewhat challenging where... And simply wasn't what I expected to be. I, I expected more sweetness from it. A little bit more power even. It's not definitely... Uh, still a good fragrance, quality one. However, you must like unusual, you know, type of scents. I mean, you know, this is very, like, niche, you know, definitely. Whereas the Black Rose can appeal definitely also to people who are not that much into niche, who like designers, who like strong, spicy you know, lasts a long time, you know, sort of a clubbing scent, if you will, <laughs> but not just for clubbing, definitely, and, uh, yeah, so, uh, those are the main differences, I guess, um, I think both are really b delicious in their own way, but I prefer Black Rose, because, you know, it just is a, <sighs> easier to like, easier to wear, yeah, definitely, a little bit more versatile, uh, signature rosé is, uh, like, you know, for kind of more intimate gatherings and for people who like, you know, smoky and, you know, unusual scents, simple as that, which have also, however, the good thing about it, let let me put it this way, is that it is rather delicious. Still, it's just not sweet. It's not sweet at all, <laughs> and that's something you expect from a rose fragrance that it, that it should be that it is sweet. And this one, not at all. So, don't if people who just want typical rose roses, you know, that are really sweet and. And kind of mild and you know uh, floral, simply, they will be disappointed. Definitely, they will be disappointed. I mean, for me also, I must admit, it was a mild disappointment because disappointment. I expected exactly this, and kind of sweetness, very floral rose, a lot of rose, you know. But this was a rose done in a very, very unique way, very unusual way, and uh, yeah. And this also, Black Rose is also kind of, yeah, unusual twist also on a rosé fragrance, but uh, because it's more powerful, a little, you know, even perhaps richer, I don't know, it is bound to please more, especially men, but also women who like spicy fragrances as well. So both are, I guess, you know, marketed as unisex I believe and but definitely signature rosé will will appear appeal 
I think to women more because it has this gourmet dish quality while black rose because of the strength and spiciness will appeal to men more more often than women yeah so <laughs> that will be all I mean if I was to give uh, marks uh, to these two I would probably give this an 8 something like that and uh, this one probably a 10 actually it's that good yeah yeah all right so there you have it I mean uh, if you ask me which one you should get well it depends what you want of course so I mean if you are after something strong and spicy and uh, you know just delicious that will last a long time get this one if you want something rather unusual smoky but a little milder not so spicy then get this one simple as that all right all right see you soon bye